Good morning, or I'm sorry, good afternoon, boys and girls, and excuse me, and mommies and poppies and grandmommies and grandpoppies. I decided to take this time to do yesterday's story right now while everybody is watching um, someone on TV. And I just noticed as I was setting things up, I don't know how many people saw what I was doing before I set the camera up and everything because you got to punch live and don't know how much is live. Anyway, the boys and girls, um, remember Monday we talked about they had just come home and they had, they're very, very excited and they were telling everybody, you know, what they liked the best and what they did and everything like that. So this is going to pick up uh, where we left off then and also that we will have Fridays tomorrow on Friday. Imagine that one now. Can you believe that? Anyway, and I think boys and girls, mommies and daddies and grandmommies and grandpoppies, I think for a while let's change over to 2 o'clock and see how, if that's any better. I know it's going to be better for me. If that's, you know, any difference, write your comments down. What what you would prefer to watch. Would it be in the morning or in the afternoon? I'd appreciate to hear that. So, <laughs> so boys and girls, uh, we are going to um, start with what did Mrs. Farmer Brown bring home for her souvenir? Now, Mrs. Farmer Brown, she had a whole lot of different things because she had been traveling with her husband for many years and she always brought back something from wherever she was visiting whether it was a town here in the united states or whether it was a um, foreign country she always brought something back well mar, mar, mar <laughs> i'm gonna forget how to pronounce it mar movania 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 that's close enough. Um, it was just a little village tucked away deep in the woods, which that is what all the woods people, all the boys and girls and Mr. and Mrs. Farmer Brown, that's what they liked about it. Some of the townspeople thought, oh, it's just too far away from, 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 you know, everything like, you know, our shopping that we want to do and things like that. But what they hadn't looked at was the small stores that you can find most anything in. And so, you know, the opinions were mixed, but what Mrs. Farmer Brown brought back was a um, little little statue that she had found in one of the shops and it was of the queen mother queen mama and little princess hannah well she had to bring that back oh my goodness gracious she had to bring that back so the different ladies had brought different things some of them got some fabric from the uh from the store in the village that I don't think you could probably find anything like that over here. First of all, it was very, very soft cotton, and it had designs all over it, and it was just like almost looking like into a pastel mandala. Now, how many of you boys and girls know what mandala means? Mandala, M-A-N-D-E-L-L-A, -L -L -A, means a design that is usually in a circle and it has different parts to it. It can be stars, it can be pointing off of the circle, it can be just anything. And what you do, boys and girls, is most of the time you color that mandala. It's usually in a coloring book or something like that. And you color the mandala. Now you can make it all, we'll say blue, but then sometimes you can do blue and green and red and orange and yellow, or you could do two or three shades of blue or whatever color you picked, green or pink. So it's really pretty. So this material, this fabric that this the lady brought back, I think it was maybe Sarah's 
skunk, I think, brought this back. See, Grandma me told you she's going to have to write this stuff down, and she didn't do it. Ooh, she got in trouble. Anyway, the, the fabric was soft as silk, and it was scattered here and there with little mandalas about this big. Oh, it was beautiful. It was all pastels. And as you know, boys and girls, pastels are your light colors. Okay? So, we'll start with Piggly, Wiggly, and Squiggly. Oh, my heavens above. What did they bring back? Now, what do you think they brought back? You'd probably say toys. Well, remember... Santa Claus was supposed to leave a toy at the castle for all the boys and girls that were staying there, and then he took the rest home. So they didn't get a toy. But what they did get, they, they bought with their own money, they bought a whistle. Actually, it was... It was, I can't think of the name of the whistle, but you blow into it and you go, pee -hoo, wee -hoo, and it makes a noise. And you can almost make a song out of it if you know how far to push it down and pull it back up again. So, mommy, I'm sorry, the queen mommy, mama, she got them a hat that stood up about this tall and a jacket. And she says, I now, not pronounce, what's the proper word? I now claim that you are members of the royal band. Oh, my goodness gracious. All Piggy Wiggy and, Wiggly and Squiggly just about fell over because they had heard the marching band. And, oh, it played so good. Well, they were real proud. Oh, they were just playing and playing and playing and wearing their hats and their jackets. And the jackets, oh my gosh, they had the gold epaulets on the sleeve, on the shoulder here. They had gold buttons down the front. Ay, ay, ay. Bright red. Don't you giggle at me now, little lighting chick. All bright red with some stripes, white stripes on their arms. They were just cool. They were so cool looking. Allie the Alligator, however, because, you know, Allie the Alligator liked water, he brought back some, uh, a fancy, fancy canoe. They didn't sell these kind of canoes here in the United States, especially in Florida, and they should have because Florida is so much more water. So they could have, and... Um, so they, he brought back this canoe and he brought back the oars that went with it. And oh my gracious sakes, he told his mama and his papa, he says, you know, or yeah, he says, you, you know what boys and, or uh, you know what mama and papa, <laughs> this, this canoe, look how good it is. It's, it's so big and it fits me so much better than my little canoe does. And look at the oars. This is what I want to bring back. Well, Sally, I'm sorry, not Sally. Well, what did Sally Skunk bring back? Sally Skunk brought back two dolls. And one doll was to set up on her shelf because it was so pretty. Oh, it had a beautiful gown on the doll and sparkles, had a little crown on top of her head. Oh, it was so pretty. And she wanted to put it, 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 it laid down. It was an actual doll. It wasn't a statue. I made a mistake. And she wanted to put it on her bed and she wanted to set the doll up on her pillows. And when she got home and she did that, her bed was so pretty. It was so pretty because she had on a lavender comforter on top of the bed and the doll's dress was pale green. It looked so pretty. But you know what else she brought back? She brought back a precious little sweet 
baby doll for little Sally Skunk. Because Sally Skunk, uh, Sadie Skunk, gracious, gracious, mommy. Grandmommy's losing it today. Grandmommy's got a lot on her mind today. But Sadie Skunk was too young to go to the village. And so their mama said, okay, Sally, you bring back something for Sadie that you think she would like. And she knew, she knew that Sadie Skunk would like this little doll. In the meantime, Patty Pig comes up and she tells me about what she brought back. She brought back. She's thinking ahead. She brought back a cake pan, a pie pan, a casserole dish to cook in, and all the lids that went with some of the stuff that she brought back. And she brought back all kinds of kitchen things. And it only cost altogether it all cost about 20 U.S. dollars. That's how cheap everything was over there. <gasps> well, she liked to cook, and her mommy liked to help her cook and to help her learn. And so she was going to go home that night after she talked to me. She was going to go home, I guess, Monday night and make supper for everybody because she wanted to use her new things. So, um, what did Little Bad Wolf bring back? Oh, my goodness gracious. He wanted to bring, bra bring back, I'm sorry. He wanted to bring back something special for his new mama and daddy, Mr. and Mrs. Farmer Brown. Now, you remember, what did Mrs. Farmer Brown get? She got the little statue of Mama Queen and... Hannah, Princess Hannah. So he thought maybe he should get something like that. But the only thing he could find was a carriage with four horses. And it was the same color. The horses were the same color as Mama Queen's carriage. But he didn't know if he wanted to, to bring that back or not. Now, he asked the lady that worked at the, at the village store, he asked her, he says, are they in the right size? Would they match the little statue that you sold my mama this morning? And she says, oh, I'm so sorry, little bad wolf. No, they won't, ma they won't match. They won't be the same size as the queen mama and Princess Hannah statue. I'm so sorry. So he says, well, what do you think we, that I could get? And she says, well, she says, right now, I'm having a sale on a castle that would be the right size to go with the statue. And he goes, well, let me see it. And so he looked at it, and he looked at it, and he goes, no, I want something really, really special for my mama because she's my new mama. And he told the sales clerk all about what happened to him when he was a baby. His daddy gave him to the orphanage and what happened in the orphanage and what happened when he ran away at six years old. Don't you ever run away, boys and girls, when you're six years old because that's dangerous. But he stayed in the woods, so he was, he, he was safe. Well, anyway, the sales clerk said, I have an idea. I have some scarves. You know, ladies like to wear scarves around their neck. He says, and I have, she says, I have some scars, scarves that would be perfect for your mama. And they are all designed by the mama queen. Now, design means she had to she had to draw out the designs for this scarf what color she wanted had the scarf to be in and what color she wanted the designs to be in queen mama was kind of smart here she had her own line of scarves well he looked at the scarves excuse me 
there was flowers on them, there was butterflies on them, there was straight lines, there was crooked lines, there was just all over everything. But he saw one scarf that he liked, and guess what it was? It was little pictures of Princess Hannah. From the time she was born up until about a year ago, the sales clerk said. So she's seven now, just like all the rest of the boys and girls. And these were pictures of her growing up in the, in the basket. She was in the crib. She was walking. She was playing with her toys. She was drinking out of a bottle and then she was drinking out of a glass. Just all kinds of pictures. And you remember Mrs. Farmer Brown, Mr. Farmer Brown, and in today's story, uh, Miss Amanda and the sales clerk and the Queen Mama and Princess Hannah, they're all real people. But all the rest of the people in my story are what? Alligators and wolves and piggies and skunks and raccoons and otters and uh, b -b 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 foxes and raccoons. Those are all the boys and girls, remember? So he thought this would be a beautiful scarf. And when the sales lady, when she wrapped it up in a box, she says, now do you want some pretty paper on here? He says, oh yes, ma'am. He says, because I don't know how to wrap up a package. I've never had to do that before. And I don't know, you know, that she even let him pick out the paper he wanted. And usually she's so busy that she just grabs that paper and she just keeps grabbing that same paper until she runs out. He picked out some shiny green paper with little gold sparkles all over it. Oh my goodness gracious. He knew that Mrs. Farmer Brown was going to like that. And she did. And so when she opened it up for Christmas, she told me that she just started to cry and her heart was just going thump, thump like that because it was so special. That little bad wolf got it for her. Now, boys and girls, mommies and daddies and grandmommies and grandpoppies, that is all for today. Tomorrow we will finish up on their trip and we will find out what all the fun things that they did because I understand that Somebody went down on the skis and didn't know how to ski and almost broke their leg. Now, who do you think that might have been? I got five good guesses already. You know who I'm talking about, those five people. So, please turn in, tune in, not turn in. Please tune in tomorrow at 2 o'clock and we'll start this all over again. All right. Bye-bye for today. See you later. And don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, mommies and poppies and grandmommies and grandpoppies, please, 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 leave a comment at maybe how silly this story is or how good it is or what you're doing today. And don't forget, let me know what time that you would like to be the best time in the afternoon or the, or the morning. And um, share. Don't forget to share now, because that's very important. And like, okay? All right, bye-bye.